Are there fans out there that are considering Zayvon Collins to be an automatic bust for the 2021 NFL draft. Now, obviously, when that happened, I wasn't the biggest fan of the pick here in Zayvon Collins. Now, I definitely heard rumors and rumblings that if all the top cornerbacks were gone, then that was going to be the route that the Arizona Cardinals were going to take. As of right now, we had the same thing that happened to Isaiah Simmons happening to Zayvon Collins. Now, I don't think it really helped out that Zayvon Collins ended up getting arrested during the offseason before his rookie year actually started. Now, most people are already calling Zayvon Collins a bust already. Is that true? Let's go ahead and dive right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Roll that intro. Arizona Sports Fan Family, welcome back into another video. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. If you can do me one huge favor, smack that like button and subscribe for everything Arizona Cardinals content. The draft is just around the corner. We just went through a week of free agency and let me just tell you this right now, it hasn't been very exciting to say the least for Arizona Cardinal fans but they have made two acquisitions one of them is Jeff Gladney a former first round pick and the other player is going to be another linebacker that's right I said it another linebacker uh, now he is Nick Vigil uh, he ended up playing for three different teams just looking, looking at a little research about him um, Chargers Bengals and the Vikings as well um with this whole signing, I know a lot of people are very worried with the whole saving call and situation. Um, I know that I wasn't a big fan when we drafted him because I was thinking cornerback. I was thinking wide receiver. I was thinking maybe even an offensive lineman to help Kyler Murray um, in the pocket. Um, but we ended up going another linebacker route when we got Isaiah Simmons the, the previous year. And we have some fans already in panic mode, uh, being that we did pick up Nick Vigil, uh, saying that, hey, is Damon Collins not going to get a fair opportunity here? Now, when I look at this here right now, I don't think Nick Vigil is coming in here with the understanding that he is going to be the number one Mike linebacker. I hope that's not the case for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I try to predict what Steve Kimes trying to do. I try to predict what, you know, Vance Joseph, the defensive coordinator, is going to do. Bottom line is Steve Kimes brings in the talent, um, and then Vance Joseph uses the players that he sees fit. Now, I do know from kind of seeing what Vance Joseph has done so far in his tenure with the Arizona Cardinals is that he favors veterans a lot, a lot over any rookie. Now, Zayvon Collins won't be a rookie next year. He's going to be going into his second year. So that gives me a little hope that we might be given Zayvon Collins the opportunity to play that Mike linebacking spot. Now, it's an absolute tough position to play coming from the collegiate level and going to uh, the NFL. Obviously, it's based off of instincts. It's based off of speed, what you're able to do, shoot the gap, run sideline to sideline, being able to adjust while you see the quarterback doing adjusting as well, uh, seeing how the offensive line, uh, I'm sorry, how the offense you know, comes out. That's basically a lot of stuff is going through your mind now. I personally don't think Zayvon Collins had a fair opportunity when it came to his rookie year, um, but I, I think it's because Jordan Hicks was favored because he was that veteran uh, coming into that year. Now, it's so crazy the way that everything panned out. Steve Keim outright came out and said that, you know, Zayvon Collins was going to be the starter um, right off the bat, and because he was getting a lot of heat in the NFL draft, it kind of cooled down a lot of people saying, okay, no problem. If this is going to be your starter, then okay, we'll back off a little bit. And I think that's kind of one of the things he was trying to do, you know, take the fire down, cool everything down and say, we drafted this guy to be a automatic starter for the Arizona Cardinals defense. He ended up getting tr in trouble in the off season. And obviously the way it kind of panned out was Hicks beat him out in training camp it, it is exactly kind of how it seemed to have played out, at least in the eyes of fans. Now, this is absolutely crazy to me. It, it's it's so, I, I just don't get this organization. I really don't. It, it's, I don't feel like they're all working as a unison team. I really don't. I feel like everybody's got their own different agendas and they're all kind of going every which way when we should be going one route, one way. And that is how do we win a Super Bowl? But Steve Kimes bringing in the talent, the, the talent, and you know, it's the, up to the coaching staffs to uh, to put them in the best position to succeed. And honestly, I, I think there were some times where we probably should have seen Jordan Hicks 
get benched. Um, a lot of the, you know, uh, not being able to stop the run was on Jordan Hicks. I'm not, I'm not going to say that the defensive line didn't have any fault to that as well. It sucked that J.J. Watt was hurt uh, throughout um, a good majority of that season. But Jordan Hicks had to kind of come out and step up and he just he really didn't do it. Um, I would have loved to see Zayvon Collins come out and get the opportunity, get more snaps when he did go out there. Yeah, he had some little moments where like, oh, he looks pretty good, um, especially in the preseason. But there was also some moments where like, oh boy, he looks like a rookie. But that makes sense. I mean, he is a rookie. The only way he's going to be able to get better in this game is for him to play the game you can have practice left and right, but how do you really, really know how one person's going to beat out the other person if you don't have the full pads on, if you don't have the full 11 on 11, uh, not red shirting the, you know, uh, the quarterback, the running back, any of that different stuff where you're not able to hit them going full speed mode. How are you ever going to know who beats who out? And that's kind of what leads me to believe that Zayman Collins was benched Maybe also because of the whole arresting situation, but that's another key topic of another situation. I hate the fact that our, you know, players get in trouble and it happens, right? We're all humans, but we have our GM doing something very, very blatantly. You shouldn't be doing drinking and driving at all. And he gets suspended by the NFL and he becomes or he, he still is our GM. Um, I'm a big fan of lead by example, and that right there is not lead by example. If you think about Michael Floyd, if you think about Zayvon Collins, if that's the situation and they were trying to punish him for that year, it's just a bad way of going around things. But going back into that whole situation, uh, Zayvon Collins was benched, in my personal opinion, because maybe a rookie, but veteranship was was absolutely favored in the eyes of the defensive coordinator and fans, Joseph. So, Hopefully, this opportunity here coming from Zayvon Collins will really kind of see a great dosage in terms of what we're going to be looking like in terms of, you know, the middle part of our defense. Now, Isaiah Simmons is still kind of, you know, up in the air right now. Is he going to be moved to edge? Um, some people want him at safety. I still do think he's going to be on that weak inside linebacking spot. Personally, we're going to have both of them. The, the dynamic duo that everybody's been, you know, calling about. They were very excited about the idea of Zayvon and uh, uh, Simmons being in the middle. And this hopefully might be the opportunity coming into this year to see that happen. Hopefully they gel very, uh, very well. Hopefully everything is coming out uh, looking good because one of the biggest weakest points for the, uh, the defense last year was we couldn't stop the run to save our lives. So hopefully this works out. Me, do I think Zayvon Collins is a bust? I absolutely don't. It's hard to say someone's a bust when he's not on the field producing and actually getting the reps that he should be getting. So give the young man an opportunity to actually fight for the position and don't just say he's going to be, you know, fighting for the position. It's going to be an open competition and give it to, you know, a veteran like, you know, Nick Vigil coming in here. So I want to see Zayvon Collins get the, the starting role. If he's overall just absolutely terrible, in a lot of different games, it might actually have to take maybe 10 games, 11 games in to really kind of see a full sample size because it would really, really messed up to bench him after two or three games when we had, you know, Jordan Hicks do a lot of big mistakes and him still getting that starting role, ladies and gentlemen. So let me know what you guys think of the whole situation. Do you think Zayvon Collins is a bust already? going into the 2022 season, ladies and gentlemen. Put it in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'm out.